so my my ex and my kids live up in Scotland. I think about this age ago. I live fairly close to the south coast. There's about four hundred miles in between us. So I go up and see him every few months. So I, we would, and me and my father, we were driving back. We've driven it quite a lot now, and it's it's a good drive. Um, sometimes it takes six hours. Sometimes it takes twelve. Generally, it's not that bad, I have to say. But I started thinking this is over a couple of trips. So not this trip, but a few trips ago, we were driving back, and we were driving somewhere through the Yorkshire Dales on windy roads are kind of on the side of hills a little bit and there was this really picturesque little town and it wasn't but the only thing i could describe it is it almost looked like balamori in the hills where it was and it looked really really nice and i thought i wonder where that place, where that is so i got google maps up found where we were saw the place opened up its little wikipedia page read about it because i'm a nerd and i like doing stuff like that and then i don't know what got me onto it and i was like i wonder what bit of road we're on now actually and then opened up a thing about the road gets more nerdy um and you know how you do you start opening and opening and opening and i got to this article about the stretch of road we were on and there was this really really nice piece that someone has written about they they lived in the village so they lived in the village that we just drove past and back in whenever it was probably 50s or 60s something like that they'd started building this road and he just finished school what do i do for a job they're building the road over there and got I'm I'm paraphrasing this so I'm going to try and find the article and I'll do it more justice and I'll probably post a link to it but this is roughly what's there so if someone's listening and thinks oh yeah, that was me and you're doing it terribly feel free to tell me so but my point summary was you know he got a job then with building the road and it was driving a some sort of thing so a a digger or an earth mover or, or something in that range and he because it was up the road and they did that that whole stretch of road. And, you know, for five years or so, he worked doing that, liked what he was doing, decided he wanted to get into that and went down a route of whatever these diggers or things were. But with this company, built another bit of road, I think moved the family where they were building something else. And he kind of went through his whole life that he'd had that, you know, his life wasn't his job, but he really liked what he did. And that provided for his family and influenced what they did, you know, where they lived, how they grew up what sort of things they saw and didn't see in life. Um, all because he happened to live in a house where they happened to be building a road across the way. And if that never happened, he might have got a completely different job doing a completely different thing. They'd have ended up living somewhere else. They'd have ended up meeting different people. And I just, it was a real, real fascinating read where this bit of road that I'm driving along and I'm just taking for granted, this got like his heart was in this road completely. It, you know, he understood it. He knew the area. He knew why they built it in the way they did. That moved on to other things. And this was really significant in his life. And I'm just driving along, not even thinking about it. And in fact, the age I am, you know, when I, I was born in the 80s, you only start to realise the world around you in the 90s, by which time, you know, our whole infrastructure is up and running like it is now. And I only started driving year 2000, I'm going to say. So, I'm completely taking these things for granted that didn't even exist 50 years ago. I don't know, something really struck me about reading this about the guy and what it meant, what it meant to him and his family and everything else, just just from it having been there. Um, and then, so I read that and I really liked that and I thought I'll store that away for later. And then we were driving back on a, again, this was either just before Christmas or just after Christmas. It was either December or sometime January, whenever it was, we were driving back and we went past that place again and it popped back in my head and I was like, oh, I really love that. And that's where I was like, I want to talk about this. And it really got me thinking about all of us and our place in the world and our contributions because we we are in a space where people talk about big things. I think generally on this show, we really try and influence more the day to day and that sometimes you know sometimes just getting out of bed is a victory sometimes completing a big project you're working on is a victory there's a lot of stuff out there in social media where basically if you're not earning 100k every single day then you're doing something wrong because we've all got the same hours in the day blah 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 but it just started getting me thinking about contributions so that whole road network that one person you can personify that by thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who've contributed to that. And I'm only able to visit my kids because of all those people and their collective contributions. 
and the car I'm driving in and how it's built and the innovations that sit in the car from, you know, from the combustion exit engine to the cool idea that my cup holders are slightly separated apart so you can get your drinks out of them sticking together. And different people have all contributed to all of that. And then we, we do it. We, you know, we, we all work in an industry. We, we outwardly don't talk about it, but you can find out if you really wanted to. But what we do enables people to do things they wouldn't be able to do without it. Or in our own ways, we're all, and the, the, much like me with the road and just taking it for granted, I hope everyone takes what we do for granted within the work bit because they shouldn't have to worry about it. But all our contributions every day, big ideas, small ideas, daily processing and stuff, all contributes to that. And actually, that's everybody. Everyone, everyone listening to this right now is part of that fabric and that framework. And they're all doing things that will impact hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, just like there are millions of people all doing things that impact them. And I just, I started to run away with this, I think. And I just, without being too sappy, the kind of beauty of all that all really hit me that we are all in this ecosystem together. Uh -huh.